All right, I wanted to do a video showing everybody how to set up their Pi 1541. Um, this is all you need, uh, basically, uh, SD card, your Raspberry Pi, and your Pi hat. First thing you want to do is take your SD card and format it. I've already done this, but I'm going to go through it again. I've got this program called uh, SD card formatter I got off the internet, um, but you can use whatever you want to. I'm going to call it Pi 1541, doing a quick format. That's it. Okay, so now you're going to take your uh, file you got from me, the Pi 1541 image file that um, you downloaded. And um, here we go. We're going to, uh, here's the image file right here, zip file. We're going to put it, drag it over to the uh, SD card. Okay, now we're just going to extract this right to the root of the SD card. I don't need this uh, Pi 1541 image name because I don't want to create a folder. We're just going to go straight to the root. Okay, there they are. You don't need this uh, zip file anymore on here, so you can just delete that off if you want to. Okay, the... Uh, 1541 folder that's where you're gonna store all your image files and your uh, d64 files um, and your program files so uh, it's, it's just simple you just drag them over gonna get one here let's see doesn't really Ooh, let's go back let's get the tapper drag it right over to this folder that simple same thing with your program files now your program files when you use them off of here you have to uh, run them using the file browser you can't um, load them up just like you do an image file but I'll show you that in a second okay so we got um, we got a d64 on here and we got a program file on here and that's that put as many as you want in there it's that simple you can put folders in there and you can browse through them using file browser or the buttons on the Pi hat so you can uh, have it organized any way you want to I'm just doing it this way just to show you how easy it is to do okay your uh, options text file here this is all your settings for the Pi hat um, I've already got it set up and running uh, for the way I have the, the Pi built and everything it's, it's ready to go but if you want to change the device numbers right here on top you would just get rid of these two lines in front of that and it'll change it to you know whatever you want 10 11 12 13 14 15 um, we're gonna leave it running at 8 though for right now so I'm gonna put those back and then all you would do is just hit file and save and you changed your configuration for the pile okay I believe that's everything so now we're gonna Put everything together SD card in your Raspberry Pi just like normal your Pi hat goes on the pin header just like this uh, right over the top of the pin uh, of the Raspberry Pi if you got it turned around this way you're doing it wrong so put it this way make sure it's on there nice and firm all right we'll go over here we're gonna work on this computer because this got Jiffy DOS enabled in it and make it a lot faster plug in the power and you should see the little graphic the disk drive there now of course you can select your um, drive image by just uh, using the buttons like we always do and then you hit the these two navigate third one is down through the menu second one would be up through the menu this one is to uh, select insert the disk image so we're going to do that oh that's program file 
There we go. D64. There we go. All right, we got it loaded. So now you can uh, look at it just like you got a disc stuck in a disc drive. If you want to see the uh, directory, since I got Jiffy DOS, I just hit F1. It shows the directory of the drive. Or you can do it like you normally would. There we go. Also, I'm going to reset everything. If you want to uh, use a file browser, uh, and you'll need to do this if you want to run your program files off of here because uh, you can't just load them up um, normally. You have to use a file browser to go through it. <clears throat> I've got it set up so you can just hit the uh, load the asterisk. You, know, you do this with uh, Commodore Run Stop. And it loads up the file browser. So this is our program file, Galaxian. And it'll load it right up. Now when you're in um, using the file browser, you won't get all your drive sounds. That's only gonna happen when you're in emulation mode. So there you go, loaded it right up. I'm gonna try to load it straight off the drive without using the browser. It says you can't, but I wanna see. I don't even think, yeah, you can't even list the directory that way. You have to load an image. Let's see if it'll do it this way. Okay, it does it that way. If you load it, um, you can see what's on here. If you try to use your Jiffy DOS before you load a D64 image, it doesn't work. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I mean, y'all will mess around with it. You'll figure it out. So I'm going to try to load it. See if it'll load it straight this way. It does. So you don't have to use the file browser. You can um, look through the directory and, and load them that way too, straight up. It just doesn't, if you don't have the image loaded, it's not going to let you use Jiffy DOS commands and the the drive sound, uh, head stepper motor sound does not work. So, and it's got a few little shortcomings, but uh, it, with the way they're working on it, I think you know they'll straighten out a lot of that stuff. But it, it works great. It's awesome. Uh, I have no complaints about it. I've been testing it pretty much all week, um, and it's great. Um, you can daisy chain more than one, so you can put another one in here, uh, two more in here, and you can run a bulletin board. You know, whatever you want to do. If you're playing Ultima, you can load an image on this one and load an image on the other one so you don't have to swap the disc around. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, um, if you got any questions or comments, just let me know.